and good play. Hi, I'm Jesse Lux, and I am a screen queen, and I've been in such wonderful films as Murder Size, uh, Cannibal Hookers was pretty much my first, um, and Satan Lives, The Rise of the Illuminati Hotties, and I have so many coming out, and who knows when, so uh, keep peeled by watching my, um, keep it peeled by watching my website, jessadoesitall.com, and you can see all of my updates, all the Indiegogos that I have going on for movies, and all my socials, and you know, any extra links you might think I have, those are there as well. Um, but you are watching The Phantom of Haunted Hill. Welcome to another video here on Phantom of Haunted Hill. Hey folks, welcome to another video here on Phantom of the Haunted Hill. <laughs> I'm Mike, your Phantom. We have a short little video here I wanted to make. Paul Diano has passed away. Yes, the first singer of Iron Maiden. And uh, yes, I remember as a kid that I loved... The the first Iron Maiden album, Running Free, you know, and all them songs. <laughs> and Killers came out then, and I remember the song Iron Maiden. That was like one of the very first, if not the first Iron Maiden song I ever heard. So that song holds a big time special place in my heart. Yeah, the old Iron Maiden. I like Paul Diano better in Iron Maiden, and I like Bruce Dickinson better in Samson. <laughs> That's just my opinion. But uh, yes, indeed. Paul was 66 years old. Let's see here. His real name was Paul Andrews, born May 17th, 1958. And he passed away today. And uh, that sucks. That, that, this is the one that kind of really touches me. Because like I said, being a little kid back then, you know, and hearing that stuff, all that, and, and then when I remember when, and then all of a sudden everybody at school was like, Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden, and this was with Number of the Beast, and it was like, I liked it, and I, but I liked the other stuff better. <laughs> uh, but uh, Paul, you know, he had a no, uh, his uh, after Iron Maiden, he formed a Deano which was kind of poppy, a little commercial there, and Gog Magog. They had one album, which featured Clive Burr on drums. And uh, that's just three songs on there. Two of them are cover songs, one by Russ Ballard, and uh, I don't even know who the other one is by, and uh, one original. And then he did Paul Diano's Battle Zone, of which I have recently fell in love with that band i never really got into them back in the day but i was working on my radio show for tomorrow and uh, i got a paul diano tribute going for that so i got some battle zone stuff and i'm like man this is fucking kick ass <laughs> this is great yeah and then he also did was in praying mantis that classic band and then uh what is this killers I don't know if that's a tribute band or what. He was in Nomad, Rockefellers, and uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> so, Mr. Paul Diano has passed away. Sad news here in the metal world. And uh, we'll see you next time here. Rest in peace, Paul. And... Um, Thanks for the great music, and uh, we salute you, sir. <laughs> yes, indeed. And uh, next video, we'll get back to some horror stuff. All right, we'll see you next time here on Phantom of Haunted Hill. Turn on the power to
Superman.